Welcome to a new lesson, Surface Areas of Right Pyramids at Right Cones. Let's start with some definitions. A right pyramid is a three-dimensional object that has triangular faces and a base that is a polygon. The shape of the base determines the name of the pyramid. The triangular faces meet at a point called the apex. The height of the pyramid is the perpendicular distance from the apex to the center of the base. When the base of a wreck, excuse me, of a right pyramid is a regular polygon, the triangular faces are congruent. That means all the faces are the same. The regular polygon means that a polygon that has the same equal sides. For example, this is a collateral triangle and it's a regular polygon and so is this square and the reason why these are regular polygons is because they have sides that are equivalent in length and usually that means they have the same angles as well let's continue then the slant height of the right pyramid is the height of our triangular face now take a look at the yellow excuse me the red lines the surface area of a right pyramid is the sum, that means addition, of the areas of the triangular faces and the base. Let's take a look at an example. Given this right square pyramid, it has a slant height of 10 centimeters and a base side length of 8 centimeters. Since it's a right square pyramid, that means all the sides in the base are exactly the same, exactly 8 centimeters. Our goal in this question is to find the surface area. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the surface area or the area of one of the triangles. So let's take a look at this triangle here. In order to find a triangle area, we have to use the formula 1 half base times height. And uh, we know that the base is 8 and the height is 10. So overall, when we use the formula, the area is 40 centimeters squared. Since it is a right square pyramid, that means we are dealing with a base that is a square. And in order to find the area of a square, we multiply length times width or side squared of 64 centimeters is the answer for the base. In order to find the surface area of the entire shape, we have to add these two together. We'll add the triangles and the base. However, since there are four triangles, we have to multiply this area four times and add it to the base. That's why the resultant surface area of the entire shape is 224 centimeters squared. Determine the surface area of a regular tetrahedron given its slant height. Jean-Marie measures then records the lengths of the edges and slant height of his regular tetrahedron. What is its surface area to the nearest square centimeter? Let's first define what is a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is composed of four triangles that are congruent. This means the same. If we can find the area of one of these triangles, we would just multiply by four to find the entire surface area. Since also it is a regular tetrahedron, this means that the base, all of its sides, are also nine centimeters. This makes our calculations a little bit easier. In order to find the area of one of the triangles, we'll just use one half base times height. So the area of one of the triangular faces is one half times the base is nine centimeters times seven point eight centimeters. So the overall area for one of the triangles is 
0.1 centimeters squared. Since the surface area is composed of four of these triangles, just multiply four by 35.1 centimeters squared to get the answer of 140.4 centimeters squared for the entire regular tetrahedron. Let's take a look at another example. Determine the surface area of a right rectangular prism pyramid. Sorry. A right rectangular pyramid has base dimensions 8 feet by 10 feet and a height of 16 feet. Calculate the surface area of the pyramid to the nearest square foot. Let's take a look at the picture of this pyramid first. Notice that the base dimension of 8 feet and 10 feet are referring to the rectangular base of the pyramid. Well, the height, which is from the base to this apex at 90 degrees, or perpendicular to the base, is 16 feet. None of these numbers represent the slant height that is needed to find the surface area of this pyramid. So the first thing we have to do is find the slant height of the blue and the red triangles. Once we have that, we can find the surface area of the entire shape. So let's take a look at the red triangle. Here it is. The slant height is going to be the hypotenuse, or the longest side. We know the height to be 16 feet, but we're missing one important information. Is what is this here? Well, if you carefully look, it's half of 10. So it's 5 feet. Why is half of 10 because it's perfectly symmetrical inside the pyramid. If it's symmetrical, we will divide by two, by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5 feet. The next part is to use Pythagoras to solve for the slanted height. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we'll plug in the values. 16 squared plus 5 squared equals s squared. And we're going to solve for the slanted height. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we have 281, which is equivalent to s squared. Then we will square root both sides of the equation to get rid of the square. And we'll get the answer of 16.76 feet for the first slant height. The next part is to look at the blue triangle. The blue triangle, we're trying to find the slanted height of the face that's facing us. We know, again, the height of it to be 16 feet, and yet we do not know the base of this triangle. So that is a little bit of a problematic. But take a look at the 8. The blue triangle is symmetrically, half of its blue triangle is symmetric with the 8 feet. Therefore, the base is going to be half of 8, which is 4. Again, I'm going to use Pythagoras to solve for our slanted height of the blue triangle. These triangles are inside our pyramid. So we have, again, 16 squared plus 4 squared is equal to our slanted height squared. And we're just going to solve it. So on the left-hand side, 272 is equal to the slant height squared. Again, we're going to square root both sides. We'll get the value of S, 16.49 feet is the answer. With this information, only now we can find the surface area of two different triangles on this pyramid. Now we have two brand new triangles. We have, again, the blue and the red, but we're going to use these slant heights to find their respected areas. So let's again use the area formula. I'm going to use the blue color for blue triangle. Base times height. One half and base is 10. Uh, the height is now, it was the slanted height, now it's just the height of the triangle. So the area is 
82.45 feet squared. For the red triangle, we're going to use the same formula because it is an area of the triangle. But now our just param is a little bit different. The base is 8. The height is 16.76 feet. So the area of this triangle is 67.04 feet squared. Now since we found these triangles, there's one more area that we need to be considering. It's the base of this pyramid. The base of this pyramid is in green. It is a rectangle. And how do you find a rectangle's area? We find length times width. So area is length times width. And area in this case it is 10 times 8, which is 80 feet squared. In this problem, we can't just find all these, uh, add these areas together because this shape is composed of not just one, two triangles, but actually four triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this pyramid up and show you how it's made up. This shape is composed of two red triangles and two blue triangles and a base. So in order to find the surface area, we would have to have two uh, blue triangles plus two red triangles and as well as the area of the base. So that means the surface area is 2 times 82.45, 2 times 67.04, and plus 80. And this all equals to approximately 379 feet squared. And this is our answer.